Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my experience as a finance content creator over the past 30 days. It's been an incredible and difficult journey, and I've learned so much along the way. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, let's dive in. You want to stick for the whole video. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man. Starting off, I was filled with excitement and a touch of nervousness especially since I have been wanting to try YouTube for a while. But I just kept letting this cloud of negativity stop me from this journey. Kept asking myself these what if questions like, what if no one likes my videos? Or what if I don't reach my YouTube goals? I had always been passionate about personal finance and wanted to share my knowledge with others. At first, I started with sharing my knowledge with family and friends and coworkers. Little did I know that this 30-day challenge would complete, completely transform my life. One of the first things I learned was the importance of analytics. It is a topic talked regularly about other, by other YouTube creators. You know what I'm talking about. That whole tracking my video views, engagement, and audience demographics to be allowed to better understand what content resonates with your viewers. To, you know, ultimately help you leading to a higher engagement and subscriber growth. However, I've personally tried some of these strategies and currently stand at about 40 subscribers and not one of my videos has cracked 1,000 views. Yikes, I know guys. Now I'm not saying their strategies might not work for you, but what I'm saying is my journey is going to be a little bit different than theirs. But that's okay because I won't let that discourage me because I know if I keep working at it, I will get to my overall goals on YouTube. So for now, I'll just grind it out. Collaboration became a crucial part of my journey. I reached out to people who have a good following on different social media platforms to get their intake on how they were able to reach their current state, as well as get some opinions on friends and family on what they would like to hear when it comes to finance. Engaging with my audience was an eye-opening experience because I don't really have much of an engaging audience, which is okay. I know that I am still the new guy when it comes to making finance videos and it will take time before I work my way up. And the comments that do come up in my videos, I just sometimes ignore because they sound more like bots. Around this time, it was honestly starting to get hard to do to YouTube. And I could see why a lot of small channels stop making any sort of content because you see that you are only getting a handful of views a day and even less subscribers. And really the only thing pushing me to keep making content was the fear of failure. The fear of not being looked at the same by my friends and family and not being able to accomplish my goals in YouTube and even more by quitting when I just started. So don't quit, don't you ever quit. Keep working, put in enough time and effort, and eventually you reach your goals. I finally had a small break. I made a YouTube video about ACHD or Schwab that just got me about 400 views in two days. It's a very small break, I know, but to me, that was just what I needed to give me a boost in confidence and keep going. As I wrap up this 30 day challenge, I can confidently say that becoming a finance content creator was one of the best decisions I've ever made. I learned a lot throughout this journey. And I'm happy to have started this journey, so in the future, I won't have any regrets on what could have been. I might be starting slow, but as they say, slow and steady wins the race. And I know that eventually, I will. I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you who supported me throughout this journey. Your comments, your likes, and shares, and views motivate me to keep pushing forward, and I can't thank you enough. So that's it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more finance related content. Let me know in the comments what you think about this 30 day challenge. And if you have any ideas for future videos, please put it down in the comment section below. Happy investing, everyone. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go. Go, go.